Episode 55, Stay Alive for Eternity. Mm hmm. All hail Caesar? Yeah. Okay. All right, so uh, this is a pretty good one. We went pretty intense on uh, the good book. Uh-huh. You might notice that the runtime for this one's over an hour. I think so. Yeah. It's over an hour. It's definitely over so, an yeah. hour. Yeah, yeah. We, went, we went pretty hard. Um, yeah, what you what you learn, Vish? I learned a lot from that um, good book. It's a good book. I like how we're not referring it exactly to what it's called. <laughs> So yeah. not getting haters. It's yeah. just the good book. It's the good book. It's the good book. Yeah. Long book. Good book. Okay. All right. So boring uh, book. Uh, you know, it wasn't boring because when you're indoctrinated in it, okay. it's exciting because okay. you like to learn the truth. All right. Yeah. So um. Cool. Uh, merchandise. Yeah, we'll pick up some teas on Teespring. Shop com. Support the podcast. Also got Patreon. patreoncom slash Um. Yeah. Cool. Yes, um, that's it. Here we go. Three, two, one. Boom. And we're back with another episode of Cry to Gamers. It's episode 55. Sank on sank. Oh, yeah. Still working on my French. Still working on cool. my French. Yeah, uh, so this is a regular weekly roundup. Actually, you know what? We're going to start off with a, a quick update on, because uh, we said it last week, maybe we'll talk about um, Ocean's 8. Oh yeah, like, you, oh, you maybe, saw it. Yeah, so it's I like, oh, maybe, maybe we'll do like a movie review, but then it's like, nah, we'll just make this a weekly roundup. So I checked it out on Thursday. Eh, if you like Ocean's series, go check it out. But if you are watching for a standalone movie, it's like a Netflixer. It's <laughs> okay. not the greatest. I mean, they they redid the same jokes. Oh, and it wasn't as mm, wasn't as tight as the first one. I would say. Right. You know. I don't know. What is it doing on the tomato meter or something? It got, it got 5.7 or 5.9 on uh, IMDb. Oh, okay. So let that let that tell you. But, I mean, <laughs> I, I love Ocean series, so I'm definitely going to watch heist, all yeah. of them. I yeah. love heist stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah, big heist fan. Okay, so this is the weekly roundup where we take five things from the week that we thought were cool, and we should talk about them. Mm-hmm. So first on the docket is the Apple Keynote, which yes. aired. When did it air? Uh, it was on the Monday. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, earlier in the week Mm -hmm. and uh, so every year they always have like like an intro video okay for the developers because mainly it's a developer conference right it's a WWDC worldwide developer conference yeah all right cool and so they they start off the video quite interesting is like um, like a nature doc Oh, that's kind of cool. It kind of uh, had like the whole like it was some it wasn't I don't I don't think it was David Attenborough but it was like that kind of voice like as the developers come like you know, oh yeah, yeah i got coming you, got into, you. Yeah, to yeah. the like coming to the wwdc make it feel like it, they're all like just animals first time coming out of their caves oh, and that's seeing funny. the sunlight you know what i mean yeah as they, as they all come together for this event so they're trolling <laughs> i like it i like it it was, it was kind of funny uh i liked it uh but the things uh the takeaway i think from the wwdc is for the iphone Grouped notifications. Okay. So you know how on your on your phone when you get so many like messages or like other notifications, right? It's all like you have to l- scroll. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it will be if it's similar, like you send me many texts, mm-hmm. and so it'll be all like stacked. Oh, so it'll be like five texts from this person. Or yeah, yeah, but it'll be you'll have like a uh, like a shader underneath each one. Mm-hmm. But like they're stacked on top, you know what yeah, I mean? I like a, like a saying. shuffle. Yeah. Or something. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah. yeah. And another one is like app limits, so like to see how much you've um, used. How much you've used? Oh, that would be good. Yeah, like oh, you've been, oh, and you can set your own times to like, like do not go, uh, do not exceed this many. Yeah. Oh, that's really good, actually. That would, like. Yeah, well, like oh, you set your own timers. Yeah, I got you. That's kind of funny because um, I was I was walking with your brother and then we were talking about how I was like, dude, doesn't that kill data? Because he's playing Pokemon Go and he's like, yeah, I use like 1.8 gigs mm-hmm. a month, right? And I'm like, yeah, but if you only have like a two gig limit, then that doesn't really leave you a lot, right? And he's like, yeah, it's, I only play uh, Pokemon Go on my phone. But then I was like, but what happens if you go over 1.8? But now with this new feature, you won't go over it. It'll just well, no, actually, 
he won't ever go over unless because right now I sp- well I know with Kudo and I think with many others they do have um, a limit yeah they do have I a, don't think Rogers has one because I can just keep uh, going yeah no you can pay extra and keep going for under Kudo yeah okay, so cool. it, it's called like shock free data they call it oh so it like tells you right it no, tells you Rogers and tell us actually yeah it should tell you I think many people get that told okay like, is, uh, is it tell us or tell us I think it's tell us that's what I'm saying <laughs> so the other thing was Memoji. So last year was an emoji. Okay. So Memoji is making your own face as an emoji. As an emoji. That's pretty sick. I think I heard about that one coming out. Like that was on the under the radar. Like I, probably like a rumor. Yeah. 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 It's yeah. yeah. pretty uh, sick. And then next thing was Memoji. That I found interesting was group FaceTime. That's kind of cool. So it's like multiple people, not so just it's two. It's sort of like a, it's like a Skype. like Skype, yeah, yeah. It's getting to that point now. Skype's got a similar feature. Yes, but it's Microsoft. Oh, it's true. <laughs> uh, then they revealed their because it's all about operating system. Like they're all software, right? Uh huh. Then they revealed the Mac OS, okay. calling it Mojave. Oh, that's cool. Another, what does Mojave mean? Just another place. They're all naming it uh, from different places in California. Oh, they okay. Find cool. Mojave Desert? Yes. Oh, okay, cool. Wow. They have one in California. Oh, I just guessed on that one. Didn't actually think it would be It bright. is a desert, yeah. And then they're like, what would be like about the desert is that at night. So they made a dark mode. What, what? They made a dark mode version. Which is sort of like YouTube. Yeah. And Twitter's got Yeah, everyone's got a dark now. mode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Especially with their black laptops. It's like, it's not really black, but yeah. Yeah. It would match more of that stuff. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah. Wow, a lot of innovation. And in, in that software, in that OS, they have this thing. Because when you go to websites and stuff, you ha- you leave fingerprints, right? Yeah. Like your con- certain configurations or fonts or like plugins. Like they they can kind of identify you with these sort of things yeah. and sell it to data. IP miners. address and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Cookies, history, yeah. So yeah, basically yeah. with this, they're trying to... With this Mac, this is a quote from the guy that was on there. Mm-hmm. Your Mac will look like everyone else's Mac. It will be dramatically more difficult for data companies to uniquely identify your device and track you. Hmm. So you just look like everybody else. Because they'll give you only the limitations of what it can send over the internet. What, you're, what, you're, what information is going on. Do there. you get to set those metrics? Yes, you get to set. You can turn them off or on. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah. Like a lot of them was like like Facebook has so like, they were like kind of like, uh, like, to face at Facebook because of all the things that's happening to them, it's just funny. They're what? Like, they show it off as if it was like Facebook and turning off this thing. Oh, so Facebook did. right, 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 right. They're sort of trolling <laughs> Facebook. Uh, yeah, yeah, not trolling, but it's like yeah, in a way to protect yourself against like Facebook. Or oh, that's funny. Or like Google. Or yeah, whoever. I got you. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. Because their direct competitors are these guys. Right, right. Based so on data security. mining, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So they're just offering increased so they're, privacy. Yeah, and it's also affecting their competitors. Oh, right, 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 right. Ooh, that's interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What was that thing about uh, they wanted to put a backdoor? FBI wanted to put a backdoor. That was on the, on, on the phones, yeah. But that didn't happen, though. They went to court with that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Huh. Still no. Still not. Oh, okay. So they won that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. No, it's not that they won that. They weren't. They don't have to listen to them to do that. Right. It's right, just right, to. Right. I don't know. Some. I don't know why they were really questioning them. Something. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. That was interesting. But anyway, that's all we got from. That's, that's pretty cool. So is there a new? Um... Oh, okay. So it's software. It's so just software. No hardware. No hardware, hardware is around. September for phones nice. and other ones. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Well, speaking of software, which is easily crushed by solar flares, <laughs> um, I, was, uh, I was listening to you, Joe Rogan podcast with Robert Schock. I've listened to all the other uh, Graham Hancock and uh, Randall Carlson ones. Yeah. And they talk about like how they believe that an asteroid came and hit the Earth and then like reset everything. Mm-hmm. That, that's what pushed us back into ancient – like we had ancient civilizations and then hence the pyramids. Yeah. And then um, an asteroid hit and then – you know, we had to reset all over again, right? Right. But what Robert Schock suggests is it could have also been a solar flare. And oh. with the solar flare, it would create, like, um, it would affect our um, 
are like weather patterns. Yeah. So you'd have like lightning that looked like uh, like gods in the sky, so people couldn't explain it. So they thought that's why they thought people lived in the sky. Oh yeah. Right. Yeah. And um, one of the interesting things they were saying is like if we had a solar flare now, all of our digital devices would be fried. Like you'd you lose all your internet. Yeah, it'd right? become. We'd go back in like Cape Town or something. Yeah, Cape Town, right? Yeah. And that's, uh, so they're saying that they also believe, because of the the way the stone was cut, that they could have had electrical tools. Mm-hmm. They, they can't say this for certain, but just the way it was cut, it's like it couldn't have been a hand carved tool. Right. You know what I mean? Uh, which I found kind of cool. So it's like if they did have electricity, just like we have electricity, then a solar flare hit, of course we'd be punched back into the right. ancient times as well. Um, and then. So how do you protect yourselves? Like, yeah, yeah okay so so that was the thing he was showing like that all around the world people who built like ancient structures like the pyramids and stuff uh and like there's like uh temples underground the only thing that can like protect you from like the the weather and like oh also solar flares would create radiation on the earth's surface oh right. destroying it yeah um so the only thing that would protect you would be going underground because the stone could protect you so that would also explain why, oh. you know, pyramids could be made out of stone. And like those other temples that are like carved in exact carved in stone, and it's like um, if, in, in if caves, right? Too. Yeah, like yeah, caves, exactly. Yeah. And if crazy natural disasters hit, it's like the only thing that would protect you would be the stone. Mm. You know, because if if like let's say something happened now, the only thing that would stay remain from our time is not only the pyramids but like uh, Mount Rushmore. <laughs> You know, right because that one's carved yeah, in yeah 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 it, it may not be as detailed later on like it might be crushed or whatever but like um it's uh it's the one thing that would live on oh i see yeah it's pretty Interesting. cool um so yeah two contrary uh two uh contrarian beliefs mm-hmm. like they're going against each other not really going against like there could have been an asteroid as well but also a solar flare but um i think the real takeaway here is that history is older than we know you know and like we we've just been doing the same cycle yeah over and over and one, one of the cool things they're saying is like if you look at in the last 500 years or whatever we went from like the horseback to like flying in space so it's like if that's only 500 years if we've been around for tens of thousands of mm-hmm. years you know like what did they have before us because like at, at the only places that would survive would be hunter gatherers if yeah. a solar flare hit us right now oh uh, yeah, yeah 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 that's true which makes you wonder about Mars, too, you know what I mean? It's mm-hmm. like, I wonder what happened on Mars, because it could have also been, like, uh, they say that there's water and stuff. What was that thing you were saying that... Um... Well, that'll, that'll be in the next topic. Actually. Oh, okay, cool, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, well, that other other names. Yeah, my, uh, well, yeah, let's just segue into that then. <laughs> because, <laughs> sure. Yeah, I was about to yeah. say, yeah. Uh, so, mine's about, it's, it's a website called Human Progress, mm-hmm. right? So I'd just like to I'd like to pause really quick and say how funny it is that uh, that this website exists because our grandmaster, one of the two, was saying that he doesn't watch like at my original martial arts school. He's saying that he doesn't watch um, the news mm-hmm. because it's so negative, <laughs> and he, they should make like a like a news source that only airs good news. Right. You know? So what they do is yeah, like uh, I was looking at some of their things. It's like some of the, they 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 take sources from actual news sources mm-hmm. like like CNN or. I don't know, BBC, whatever, different things, which yeah. are good stories. Uh-huh. They'd only like post those ones up. And their own some of them sometimes their own stories that are good. Oh, cool, nice. Yeah. So uh yeah, in at human progress, yeah, it's all about what we're doing that's good for humanity, right? Yeah, that's right. awesome. Because every time we hear the news it's like uh or someone bombed here, someone Yeah, exactly, someone exactly. So shot much someone here, someone yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> so um the thing with the Mars is like one of their like stories was like Curiosity rover unearths three million year three billion sorry year old organic matter hmm. on Mars. So we don't know what, the, what that means, but uh, yeah. exactly. So it's like <laughs> it's like well, what like is it plants? Is it people? Like well, we don't know. I mean, this is just just uncovered, right? So there's still going to be a lot of research to go into what that. But even is. the fact that there was organic matter yeah it's like that already suggests that something was there yeah on mars before yeah so that or that also means you know life isn't as like uh, uh like rare spe- yeah rare yeah yeah so 
like another one was like people don't think about like because we all play, complain about flight fares right yeah and then it's like what actually how much has actually changed from the 1950s to today uh-huh and some of them dropped drastically like like how much uh, I was looking at because they were all in pounds. So like just from London to Toronto used to be like eight hundred pounds, is like half that now. Oh no way! Yeah, wow, that's pretty cheap yeah. actually. Some places were almost like eighteen thousand pounds. Wow, they dropped drastically, mm-hmm. more than fifty percent. Like so, it's just crazy the prices before, of course, mm-hmm. and where is that now? So for we're still, sure, for sure. And we're complaining now, you know, like maybe another fifty years it'll be even cheaper. It'll be like. Two dollars. Yeah, I mean, especially if SpaceX does their thing and they have different yeah, competition. Reusable rockets. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So then we have the flights would get cheaper then. That would be pretty cool. Yeah, that would be pretty awesome. Right. So, like that was one of them. The another one was like how because we all talk about oh you know urbanization isn't good like mm. the capitalism and all that stuff but and we hear like suicide rates in China but we don't realize that actually oh, suicide rates. Quick pause. Shout out to um, <laughs> not shout out but like. Condolences to uh-huh. Anthony Bourdain. Yeah, it's funny you guys don't know who he was, but I was like, ah. Oh, like I've seen the guy. face. I just I've no. I don't think I've watched his stuff. Yeah, I get what you're saying. But yeah. he was like such a trendsetter for like food culture. I guess so. I like, guess yeah. so. Yeah. Maybe in North America, I don't know. Yeah, true, true, true. But uh, yeah. yeah. Anyway, so like the suicide rates in rural China were a lot higher, hmm. but now with the urbanization, it's a lot lower. Makes sense, yeah. Right? Because they got jobs, right? They don't have to see, worry about... See, what it is, is like, it's statistics, right? If we didn't... If we don't create these statistics, you know... Yeah. Then we wouldn't we have won't see the trends. framed view. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We don't see what's actually happening. Yeah. Yeah, no, no, but, like, also, um, like, it's, like, what what statistics they want to report on. Yeah. You know, so, like, you're, you're finding, like, alternate statistics. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 that's yeah. true, yeah. So, yeah, and, then, and the website is really cool because uh, you can, like, search up whatever they have, like, up-to-date stuff. Oh, uh, cool. For, like, homicides by firearms. And you can check each country what's happening. Uh-huh. And, like, we hear, always hear about the United States. But it's actually the lowest it's been. Oh, wow. Right? Uh, but, you know, of course you want to get to, like, the zero point. But it's, it's going to take a while. But it is less than what it used to be in, like, 1965 or something. Mm-hmm. Or mm-hmm. Well, it makes sense. Even 1995, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. For so, sure. like, again, it's not going crazy. Actually, yeah, that's true. Because if you look at, like, back in the day, there was, like, the Rodney King riots and, like... Yeah, yeah. There was different things that were happening, too. Yeah. Yeah. Like, the only places I was looking at where there were increases is, like... But I guess if you don't yell about it, you know, from the rooftops, then nobody's going to take you seriously. We need to keep the fear mongering to push us in a specific direction because mm-hmm. fear is a better motivator than, um, like, joy and goodness. <laughs> yeah, of course. But, you know, th- that's just – there's something that we were saying. I think it was Steven Pinker. He's, he was on Joe Rogan too because mm-hmm. like, he's the one that I, I came across this because of him. Okay. Uh, like, we it, – it's like a flaw in us that, that – I mean, of course, it's all it's, we're trying to survive and sort mm-hmm. of thing, and but we, is why we gravitate towards fear. Yeah, yeah. I, I, well, it makes sense though why we gravitate yeah, towards yeah, fear because yeah. like survival, right? Yeah, yeah. It makes sense. It's just when you look at actual statistics, it's mm-hmm. not the way it is, right? So, uh, yeah, like you can there there are different informations. Yeah, not just homicide. Like, uh, what was an interesting one? Um, like actually it's all it's all over they have so many statistics like uh, mm. the flights thing I was saying talking about um, the, the amount of rape cases amount oh, of, uh, like everything just have to like go to their thing is called like their data site data section of, the, of their webpage uh-huh. and you can look at each one and look at each country what's happened wow. if it's increased or decreased that's pretty good yeah and, but in the world picture it has who's it run by? Uh, I don't know. It's in dot org. Yeah. So, so it's, I'm not sure what what it is, <laughs> but mm. it is pretty. It's pretty good. It's a pretty good site. I got. So it's uh, human. I would like to more promote that. Yeah. Humanprogress.org. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Sponsor us. Yeah. That's so what it's called. About progress. So this is progress. It's still happening. We mm. just don't see it. That's pretty cool. I like that. Yeah. 
That's a very interesting. Um, that's cool that they give you alternate perspectives. Yeah. yeah. If you just look at that, you just think like, oh, the world is uh, great. For sure, it's like and a, it is. <laughs> if you have a narrow, pointed view focus. Yeah. Like how many times they say, oh, the world is ending. For sure. But uh, there was more, more. We were in more wars like twenty years ago, thirty years ago than now. Fear mongering. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, for sure. But, you know, we forget the past. For sure. That's Which is a great segue into our next topic, unless you got anything else. <laughs> no, that's it. All right. So <laughs> this is uh, my favorite. This is going to be my favorite topic of all time. Just because I, I was born, I was like uh, indoctrinated into the Catholic religion. Mm-hmm. Uh, went to church till I was like 25, I think. Not out of choice, but yeah, I'm, yeah, like, yeah, you know, yeah. being pushed. Um, and then eventually visited, uh, what do you call that? Oh, the Vatican? Rome. Vatican, yeah. And then, like, listening to, like, the differences of the opinion of Romans as to Vatican's. They actually hate the Vatican. Oh, that's Romans. interesting. Yeah, yeah, they, they like, they're, like, all oh, are a bunch of liars and thieves. Wait, like, oh, Romans or? Romans, mean... Romans. Wait, which Romans are you talking about? People so, there? Yeah, people there. The so Italians? Like, pe- yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, Italians. Yeah. <laughs> That's just confusing. Yeah, actually, yeah, sorry. Well, <laughs> within the city of Rome, all the, like, our tour guides and stuff were all like, oh, I hate the Vatican. Oh, okay. Like, oh, no way. <laughs> right. That was pretty interesting. And then, like, because it's, like, a different city. It's it's sort of like how Quebec is to um, uh, Canada. Right? Uh-huh. They want to be, like, separate. Yeah. Vatican. Even though Vatican is just, like, a small city and nobody owns a passport or something like that. Yeah, yeah, no. Yeah. Yeah. So to preface this talk, uh, we must understand that piece of information. We must also understand that uh, how the the good book was put together was um, Constantine. Well, this is what they told us in Rome that he was on his deathbed, and then he was looking not deathbed. I guess he was dying, and he was looking for people who could save his soul. So he went to every religion, and the only mm-hmm. one that promised him eternal salvation was uh, Christianity. Oh. Right, uh, so then Christianity eventually became like they were like the minority, and then yeah. that eventually became the Catholic Church, which was led, which was like the Bible was put together by Constantine. He pick and he like picked and chose what to put in there. Right. Oh, uh-huh, okay. So yeah. um, taking that into account, so now we'll talk about the Old Testament because I finished the entire the entire Bible. It took me so long, but so. Uh, <laughs> So okay. basically the whole story arc of the Bible is that uh, God creates man, Adam and Eve. Mm-hmm. Then Adam and Eve create a race of people called the Israelites. But okay. then these Israelites are being oppressed by the, uh, the Egyptians. Mm-hmm. And then they're like servants and slaves. So then Moses sets them free. They go on this whole journey looking for the promised land promised by by uh, Moses. Yeah. They can't find it. Okay. Start getting mad at God. Uh-huh. Then later on like trials and tribulations blah blah blah, stuff happens just like it's just stories about people like different stories and then at ezekiel that's when god goes oh you need to you need to convert those that don't believe in me Uh uh-huh right uh especially egypt so they go back towards these places and wage war and then in maccabees that's when they actually get like nearing the end of the bible yeah that's when they start getting their um uh what do you call that when like somebody petitions to be considered a, a different country they get recognized oh okay, okay. they, uh, they get recognized okay, as okay. being uh, yeah. actual culture called uh-huh. the jews yeah so they go from being called um the israelites to being the jews because it's a can, like it's a whole religion yeah, yeah. now yeah, yeah, yeah. which they believe in moses uh-huh. uh enter so that's the end of the old testament so okay. the old testament ends with them becoming recognized as being an actual culture yeah and then enter the New Testament. A person called called Jesus comes. He says, "I was prophesied by Mo- Moses mm-hmm. uh, to change what he said." Yeah. Jews don't like that. Uh-huh. They get really pissed, <laughs> and uh, they yeah. kill him. Okay. Because it's it, see, people like get confused. They think that it was the Romans that killed him, but multiple times the Romans like, I don't know what's going on, guys. Like, <laughs> yeah. It was in there. He's like, oh, P- Pontius Pilate was like, Yo, why are you guys? Why are you guys upset at him? Uh huh. And then they're like, Because he tries to blaspheme, blaspheme us, and oh, blah blah. blah. Makes, and then makes sense. And then, he, and then Pilate was even like, He's like, Hey, um, it's the it's like the Sabbath or like the 
there's like a special holy time mm. and he's like I'm allowed to let one prisoner go who do you want me to let go this murderer Barabbas or <laughs> Jesus the king of the Jews okay. and they're like they're like let go of Barabbas and he's like are, are you guys sure so he asks them like three times like hold oh. up this is a murderer guys yeah, yeah, yeah and they're like we don't care kill Jesus so anyways kill Jesus uh, and then the Acts of the Apostles are the people who go out um, after Jesus' death and they like talk about the great things that Jesus did, mm-hmm. namely uh, Peter, no, Paul, who eventually, uh, I believe he was the one who was crucified upside down yeah. on the place where St. Peter's Basilica now stands okay. in the Vatican. Right. Um, some accounts say that he was also burned at the footsteps of uh, the Roman, oh. uh, what do you call that? The Roman Senate, mm-hmm. like outside the steps, they like burned him alive. Yeah, oh. uh, that's what they told us in Rome. Okay, uh, and then in the Vatican, they're like, "Oh, that's where he was crucified upside down." So it's like, okay, I don't know which account's correct. <laughs> right. uh, and then uh, after that, they finish off with the Revelations, which is basically uh, John the Baptist's vision of the end of the world. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So that's the whole story arc long very long okay yeah 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 um but it's funny because like people like if you're christian right you you primarily focus on nobody reads the old testament everyone reads the new testament Mm -hmm. but if you don't read the full thing you don't get the context of what really happened yeah yeah yeah. you you just think like oh jesus was like hated on persecuted but it's like no there was this whole lineage prior (laughs) he just came in and was like i need to change things up okay right he's like uh moses was wrong about uh his I think the only thing they disagreed with Moses on, like the primary one that they can't bring it up, Mm -hmm. was that uh, the adultery one. So if you marry someone, Moses said you can have a piece of paper that says that you're divorced and then you guys can split up. Oh, okay. Jesus said that Moses was wrong. What is what is bound together by right. God cannot be broken. Uh-huh. So once you're married, you're married for life. <laughs> That's why Filipinos don't believe in divorce. Right. It's in yeah, the Bible, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, let's let's just segue back. Uh, Old Testament now. So what I truly believe is, mm-hmm. uh, oh, well, let's, let's preface this again. Uh, when looking into the sun, you must wear glasses yeah. because it could blind you uh-huh. if you're not ready for it. So if you do not want to hear this, I would suggest stopping the podcast now. <laughs> okay. okay. Um, Some so, serious shit. Yeah. <laughs> so knowing the, uh, the way it was compiled, I truly believe that the Old Testament and the New mm-hmm. were – it's basically the Bible is a propaganda piece by the Romans. Oh shit! All right. So the reason why this makes sense is because if you look at economically, mm-hmm. by when this Bible was created, the primary powers were Egypt and Rome. Oh. Right. Greece was there too. Yeah. But like Greece was kind of wavering. But like Egypt was the strongest power. Like they had like the money. Like if if you play the game. Um, this is why it's so interesting to like learn about history and then read these texts because then you get the context, right? So you play that yeah. game, uh, um, Assassin's Creed Discovery Tour. You okay. see that yeah. um, Egypt was so prosperous that nobody had to really work. They were all artists, oh. right? Whereas like Rome was trying to struggle for power, right? So um, what's the best way to get people to go against Egypt and destroy them? If not, if not like directly saying that they're like we're gonna crush you economically you do it through belief systems so the entire old testament is about how evil egypt is Uh they're the ones who oppressed the israelites and like they were in power it's sort of like i guess if you want to contextualize it you can see the old testament as being like um the the u.s is like egypt and then the 99 percent, the people who don't have the wealth (coughs) yeah bless you um, and the people <laughs> that don't have the wealth are uh, are like the like the minorities. You know, like those yeah, people yeah, like, yeah. oh, we need like to occupy Wall Street and stuff. Those are you each consider them like the Israelites, oh, okay, which makes okay, sense okay. as to why a lot of people, you know, fall back on like the Bible because it's like, oh, we're being we people who are like feel like they're being oppressed. Like if you're uh-huh. in a lower socioeconomic class, you want something to believe in, right? You know. Um, yeah, and okay. and a lot of the prayers in the Psalms in like Old Testament and stuff, like where they're like, "Oh God is with me" and stuff. Those are all war prayers. So right, like, okay. So that's pretty hmm. interesting. So it also makes sense why like people who go, they say like, "There's no atheists in foxholes." 
Okay. Right? It makes sense, like, why they're all, like, Catholic and they pray and stuff, because, like, yeah, because you need something to believe in, and you need to believe that a god is out there who's going to help you smite your enemies. Right? So the Old Testament's all about war, war, war. And, like, and loving, loving God. Which is pretty interesting, too, because the book started with a lot of acacia stuff. So, like, Moses was like, oh, okay. like God yeah, yeah, was yeah, like, yeah, you have yeah. to build everything out of, everything has to be built out of acacia. But then now we know through science that acacia trees yeah. are high in DMT, which is, mm. uh, like, the strongest psychedelic known to man. Yeah. Right? It's We release it when we're dreaming. That's why you believe you're in the dream. Because it's so, like, it, it controls all your senses that you get absorbed into it. Oh, okay. Right? So if you take that into account as well, so it's like, all right, the whole Bible started off with all this acacia stuff and then Moses, like, which is also another interesting thing is they don't mention that Moses' brother Aaron is the one who helped him primarily through all this. Oh. Yet everyone glorifies Moses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which makes no sense. But I, I believe that's Western propaganda as well because it's like you need to believe that one man can make a difference. Mm-hmm. You know? Um, interesting. So I guess that would that would be all for the Old Testament. Oh. So now we get into the, like that's primarily yeah, yeah, yeah. the key, yeah, yeah, yeah. key takeaways that I got. Uh, the new so I also there's not that many mentions of the devil in the old in testament. The old testament. Yep. Like I think he was named he was like he's brought up only like twice, right? Oh okay. There there were mentions of uh, um, magicians and sorcerers though. And I was like, oh, you guys believe in magicians and sorcerers? <laughs> it's kind of cool. Mm-hmm. Um, and. <laughs> Oh, what, what I found really interesting, too, is that um, they have, like, this obsession with circumcision. Yeah, okay. All right. But I get it because it's, like, so God said to, I think it was Abraham. He's, like, he's like you, everyone who goes past you must be circumcised to show that, like, I am your God or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, d- like. D- d- yeah, they want to. Yeah, okay. Right. Yeah. And, like, that's, like, the sign of it. Mm-hmm. And then, um. Yeah, so they were, like, obsessed with that, which is, I found kind of weird. And even in the New Testament, yeah. they kept bringing it up. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's it's like, all right, so now that brings me to the New Testament. Uh, basically, the the evil that keeps being brought up is greed and sex. So they keep saying, like, adultery okay. is bad and you should not be super evil. All right, okay. Right. So that's, like, that's the primary downfalls of man. Mm-hmm. Okay. What, where's the rock star? Sex, drugs, and rock and roll? Yeah. Something like Is that. Is that something yeah. like that? Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So funny. anyways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, money and women. That's the, mm. Those are the powers. Okay. Um, so brings you to the New Testament. Very interesting. The four Gospels of Jesus all depict Jesus in a very different way. Yeah, that's what I heard. Yeah. Yeah. So like each of them is like it depends so i remember i was i was like texting you and i was reading matthew which is the first one yeah so it goes matthew mark luke and john right Mm -hmm. and then each one progressively gets more and more dark which is i'm like holy you guys are getting next level on me right now Mm -hmm. so the first one matthew i was like oh i totally believe in this jesus like he's super cool he's like his uh he was like they call it the sermon on the mount i don't think they even called it that in the bible it's just what people refer to as Mm -hmm. and like um basically he was just talking about how to live your life the primary takeaway that I liked was uh, enjoy enjoy today because mm-hmm. you don't know what tomorrow's going to bring. Right. Right. And then what you find out is in Mark, Luke, and John, as it gets darker, there is no Sermon on the Mount. Okay. So it's like, okay, that was only a Matthew thing because the Matthew Jesus was... Uh, do you remember Dogma? The movie? Yeah. Uh, do you little, remember Buddy Christ? A little bit. I don't, I don't like, really remember it, anything. I want to buy that statue because it's so cool. It was uh, it was Jesus doing like two gunshots. Oh like, right, yeah, 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 yeah. He's yeah. like winking, buddy Christ. Oh, okay, so that's like that a one. Matthew Jesus. Like he's uh, like the cooler one. But then like it's weird because like he had a lot of good things to say, and then halfway through, uh, he he starts to go. Uh, there must have been like different tribes of followers. I guess yeah, like, right? Like the Matthew followers. Yeah, I know. Like, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, it, totally, totally, totally. Yeah, exactly. It's like which gospel do you believe? Yeah. And like which version of Jesus do you believe? Yeah. Which is kind of weird because you can't pick and choose. Right? You know, it's like either you got to take the events that are consistent throughout and then use those. But mm-hmm. like the Sermon on the Mount's only in Matthew. So it's like, well, yeah. then that's technically not real because you got one out of four. You know, you got like a 25% inaccuracy there, <laughs> you know. But then like him being crucified happened all four. So it's 100% accuracy. Right. Yeah. Um, so 
want to say Buddy Christ. Yeah, he was like, a, oh, so then halfway through, he start, he actually said, like, I have not come to bring peace but the sword. Mm. And then he's like, and then that's when I was like, okay, you're feeling yourself too hard now, Jesus. And then that's when um, he got eventually crucified because oh. like, he's, he's, he's going, like, power hungry on there. Oh, I see. Yeah. This is so blasphemous. No, Technically, I grew no, up Catholic. Really, I went to the Vatican. The last thing to do is read the Bible. Isn't this what you're reading I did in my the alms. Bible, though? That's what I'm mean, saying. This... I did all my alms. So how was this blasphemous? When it's so I'm, I'm a true follower, I'm saying. Yeah. So, because uh, <laughs> well, what do other people do? You know what I mean? So <laughs> uh, so then in, so then it gets progressively dark, yeah. um, um, Mark and Luke. And then the the darkest one is John. Because that's where you ever see passion. You saw Passion of the Christ, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where they're like, oh, like then they spit on him. They put all the crown of thorns. So every year uh, on Good Friday, we we all reenact yeah. um, the Passion of the Christ. Yeah, right. Yeah. And I was I always like, I think in the like, Philippines they even like they actually like crucify them. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, damn, this is so dark, guys. Like, why are we always doing that? Because in Matthew, Mark, and Luke, it's not that bad. It's just like, yeah, he just got crucified. Something mm. happened, you know what I mean? But then, like, in John, they go into detail. Right? Okay. So it's like, oh, man, they're, like, spitting on him, beating him. They do all this craziness. Mm-hmm. So then here's here's the plot twist. John is John the Baptist, the one who who baptized Jesus, right? Right. But see, John had a vested interest because before Jesus was John. John was the one saying the day of reckoning is here. He was an extremist. Okay. Right? And then I think in – I think it was – uh, Luke in the Bible of Luke, he gets imprisoned and killed, mm-hmm. but yet he's still alive <laughs> preaching in the John Gospel. So it's like, okay, so Luke's a liar. Okay, you know, and yeah, like, yeah, that's yeah. just not right. Um, it's like contradictory. Mm-hmm. So then, um, but this is how they get you. They say like, if it's contradictory, they say you just do not believe correctly. <laughs> You're going to hell. Yeah. yeah like, oh yeah, man, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's that's it's cold. Just, oh, just yeah. doing my factual research, guys. Um, so then, what else? Uh, so, so John is the extremist. So in John's gospel, Jesus is like the way and the light, man. Like he is like here to save your soul. Mm-hmm. But also in John's gospel, whenever Jesus was preaching, the Jews always referred to him as having a demon inside of him. Oh, that's interesting. so they're like, oh, you're demonically possessed. And Jesus is like, no, how can I be demonically possessed if? Um, if I'm speaking the word of God, mm-hmm. you know, and then he said, and then this is funny. He goes, I will have eternal life like after this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they all said, that's how we know you have a devil inside of you because Moses and Adam, you know, Adam and Eve, yep. they both can escape death. Yet you're saying you can escape death. Thus you mm-hmm. must be evil. Right, 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 right. Cause nobody escapes death, which mm-hmm. is the primary takeaway of, of Jesus. Why people follow him is cause like people are, natural fear is we're afraid of dying yeah so if jesus comes to you and promises eternal life of course people are going to take it <laughs> right so if you can't accept death then jesus is for you yeah. but if you can't accept death then you'll look at it from a different viewpoint and you'll be like were the jews onto something what's going on here you know like maybe right right Interesting. Um, so that's why he had to die and resurrect himself because if he didn't die he wouldn't have proved that he could escape death. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then it also makes you think that, like, well, what if it was just a doppelganger? What if him and his, like, twin brother were like, yo, we're going to, like, uh, like the, uh, the Prestige. Oh, uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. Like the Prestige where he had his, his, like, actual twin, and he lived this whole life as, a, like, a secret person, mm-hmm. which makes sense because throughout the whole gospel, like, Jesus performed miracles. Yeah. So if you can perform these miracles, you can surely, you're surely some sort of magician. <laughs> right. You know, not saying he was. Okay. Just saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Logically speaking. Uh, you know the whole, like, walking on water thing? Yep. That was only in one gospel, and it was mentioned so briefly when I read it. I was like, I didn't even think that he was floating on water. Like, if you read it, you're not thinking he's floating on water. It's just, so, so, so like, they're, this is so crazy. So, like, they're going to get some fish, and then it says, then Jesus walked on water, to grab the fish and then he came back something like that it was like so in passing oh, okay, okay, it was just okay. so in, and when i read it i was like yeah he just walked in the water oh uh, that, yeah that's probably what it is yeah, right. why, and, why, and then and then he's like and then the that'd uh, be like a crazy the disciples thing. were scared and i was like oh. but i was like well maybe they're just scared because jesus was like a like a intense like 
you listen to me or else, uh, you know, like we don't understand the context. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So it's like, it wasn't like, and thus he floated on water and then showed his might. It wasn't like that. It was like he walked on the water, grabbed some fish and walked back. Oh. And it was like, I had to reread it because I'm like, wait, is this the walking on water scene? Because <laughs> this is not that special. And it was only in one gospel as well. So also... Not it's, true, not in all, true. it's not in all gospels, so mm. they got a one out of four. They got 25% on that accuracy oh. meter. Interesting. <laughs> so, you know what I mean? It's, like, right. it's almost like yeah. people pick and choose what they want to hear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so then, let's take into account that Jesus he did... Oh, and so, like, in uh, in the John gospel, he's full-blown, like, you must follow me or else mm. you will die. Oh. Uh, okay. He does say something a little weird. He's like, I'm going to bring mother against daughter, daughter against mother man against son and i was like that's a little negative uh, what? okay it's yeah. a little negative there <laughs> so weird all right why would you want to do that i don't know he yeah. didn't explain it he's just like i've come to to separate man or something like that uh-huh. and i was like well i guess like if you want to read into it as an analogy like oh i've come to separate you from your attachments like that's what you could say technically okay why didn't you just say that but it's like right like i you're just taking I'm I'm just pulling that to make him a positive guy yeah 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 but yeah, like yeah. what if he literally did mean because he did say I'm coming with the sword oh yeah so I was so. like okay I don't know what's, what's going on and also the uh, the uh, the way the disciples were pulled together is mm. there's different versions of that like in one version I think John's version Jesus said many people that followed him and he chose only 12 okay um <laughs> All and right. then in the other versions, they just appeared out of nowhere, which is kind of weird. Oh. I think one of them, one of the disciples was also the son of John. So it's like, okay, well, you got a vested interest. Your son's a part of the, yeah. the crew, you know. <laughs> so anyways, that, that brings us to Jesus' death. Then they get the Acts of the Apostles where people start um, preaching the word of Jesus. Mm-hmm. Not the word of God, the word of Jesus. Oh. So, so it's she, not about God anymore. It's Jesus is the way. Jesus is the way and the light. And oh, all that stuff. So it's like, okay, I can get why the Jews were a little pissed now because you just disregarded Moses. And uh, I'm like, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. not about Moses, guys. It's about me. Yeah, 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 yeah. But how do you know that he wasn't just like a philosopher who read all the scriptures and was like, dude, I could totally, like a no show. Mm. You know, if you watch, a, if you want to get a good sense of what we're talking about, watch uh, Wild Wild Country on Netflix. That could be a possibility. That could happen because Jesus was saying some true stuff, but his like, what he his desired opinions. out of it was negative. Yeah, right, right. Just like Osho. Yeah. You know, like Osho was saying some true stuff, but Osho wanted power. Uh-huh. Maybe Osho even read it. He was like, "I could do this too." <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, that's quite possible. Right. So then, um, so then the apostles is all about how these people, uh, namely Paul, who was burned at the burned or hung upside down oh. Paul the starter of Jesus' church they, they yeah. say he's like the first one uh, he was exiled to Crete and the letters to Paul were just like people were asking him he lived in Crete for a long time and then uh, he was like uh, what do you call that he was converting people teaching them oh. which is another okay. interesting note is the Holy Spirit said that they could not go to Asia they're they're barred from going to Asia oh I was in there, and I was like, that's a little weird. weird. But then they did spread to Asia because after two years of, like, the goodness, it naturally spread to Asia. That's what it said. Like, he wasn't allowed to go there, Mm -hmm. according to the Holy Spirit, but uh, it it, it ended up going there because people heard the word. Oh. And the word was good. Okay. And then, uh, so then the final thing is, this is really interesting the revelations that everyone talks about it's basically the end of the world they prophesize the end of the world Mm -hmm. and it's so damn negative it's like that's where so basically what happens is uh so the jews say no we don't believe in you jesus so then they kill him and then um um the like the world is getting out of hand god sends down uh seven natural disasters Okay. Right? To destroy us. Yeah. Kills off most people. So you can think of a revelations like Thanos and oh, okay. Avengers Infinity War. Yeah. So most people are dead. Then there's a war in heaven. Michael sends the dragon, aka the devil, down from heaven and then he's he's trapped in hell. Oh no, not hell, sorry. He's trapped on earth. And then while on earth, he rules over earth. Yeah. People follow the devil. Okay. And then um the 
And then God is like, that's not cool. Mm -hmm. So he sends seven plagues now to, like, kill us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And after he kills the majority, um, the angels come down from heaven, and then they force the devil to go to hell where he's burned. Mm -hmm. But check this out. Only for a thousand years. So every oh. thousand years, the devil is escapes. Okay. He's allowed back on earth um, every thousand years. Find that a little interesting. Uh-huh. Uh, and <laughs> uh, what else? So, oh, and, and then Jesus reveals himself to be the morning star, which we, we Googled after, which is uh, the devil and Jesus are both called the morning star, but Jesus is the bright morning star, yeah. meaning he's the opposite of the devil so basically both are in favor of god but it's like which way do you want to go about it positive or negative following jesus's love or the devil's greed mm -hmm. but if you really look at it uh, yeah it's, it's like okay. the control mechanism used by jesus is also negative so it's like which one are you gonna follow okay yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah but then the the big plot twist that i didn't tell you about is all of Revelations is based off of John the Baptist, a.k.a. the extremist, a.k.a. the person you go downtown and they're like, the end is near, the end is near. <laughs> He's that guy. Oh, I see. Right. Yep. Um, the Revelations is based off of John's vision. So, like, basically John either had a dream or a vision or um, he was on drugs mm -hmm. and then he wrote about this. And it's all from his account. So he's like, and then I, he's like, and then I saw the devil come down, and then I saw the seven plagues, and they said to the earth, you know, he, he's doing it from a witness position, like he's going through it and witnessing all these negative things. Uh -huh. So, John the Baptist. So then we were saying, like, there's different versions of it, right? So, like, you know, the peaceful, the peaceful um, Christians, like the Protestants or whatever, maybe those are the Matthew ones and like right, that's, that's, the Catholic uh, ones or the, the John sense. ones. Because yeah, that that's why I read all from John's Bibles or Gospels. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. There's also like missing Gospels. That's what I would have yeah, heard yeah. about. But uh, Yeah, there's the Gnostic Gospels. I have books on that. I was going to read that. There's like well. the ones where Jesus was never crucified. Yeah. I don't know what that so, was called. But. So in, in the Gnostic Gospels, they say that... Um, Jesus, after he died, so there's doubting Tom, right? Mm -hmm. Gnost Gnosticism, aka knowledge, yeah, um, knowledge is yeah is based off of Tom Thomas. Okay, the, they call him doubting Tom because oh. when uh, when Jesus arrived, Thomas is like, I don't believe it's you. I need to. I need proof, <laughs> right? Okay, so that's why he lets him touch his like his like holes, oh, okay. like like the where he's nailed, and then oh. uh, freaking. Um, Thomas is like, oh, like you really are him, <laughs> which is interesting because how far will you go for your magic trick? Yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah, if yeah. you watch um, uh, Prestige, he cuts off his own finger because his brother loses his finger. So it's mm -hmm. like we got to be the exact same. Right. 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 Yeah. 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 Damn. And like they'll take turns, like pretending that they're the person, mm -hmm. whereas like his brother was one of them. What it was, this, yeah, like, yeah, bodyguard, yeah, remember, right, right. So, like, well, we don't know, um, yeah, and then, uh, which is interesting, I, I can't remember which which one it is. There's um, there's a whole Old Testament uh chapter, and I was like, oh, this is where you got the matrix, <laughs> not the matrix itself, like the idea, yeah, 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 but yeah, they yeah, got yeah. all the names from the you know, remember, he's like, we have to go to Zion, right, 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 right. Zion. Uh, Nebuchadnezzar. Right. Oh, well, it's um, all from. They're the, all in the Bible. Bible names. Yeah. I didn't know that. Like when I saw Nebuchadnezzar, well, yeah, yeah. I'm like, there's, oh, there's the a ship. Yeah, there's reasons why we probably name them. It's true. I guess. Uh, yeah. We just never looked into it. And then, like, if you look at uh, the 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 Matrix, like they're they're seeking out Zion, which is like this holy land, which is also in that chapter. Yeah. So, so it's, it's like, all. Oh, it's like. Yeah. It's, it's the Matrix. It's to, yeah, it's the metaphors. Yeah. So. That's that was a very long winded one. Crazy book. Yeah, it's crazy, crazy in this. Like if you <laughs> believe it. I, I kinda see it like this, like you have to ask yourself, like, do I am I afraid of dying? If you are, then you're gonna gravitate towards this. But if you're not, then most likely you'll see it for what it is. Right. Yeah. Just a piece of literature. Yeah. That's all it is. A sacred piece of literature. 
that must be followed because just saying. John the Baptist said so. Be- because John the Baptist said so. It's it's all it's all John the Baptist. <laughs> yeah. And you'll be baptized by fire. I don't know, there's like there's a lot of craziness in that stuff. If you really pull it together. Mm. A lot of like anti women stuff in there. Oh, and like Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've yeah. heard about that. Interesting. Oh, but what I found really interesting is uh that the apostles, like the acts of the apostles were like they're pulling stuff out of like out of the thin air, man. Like Jesus never said any of those things, but then they're just creating stuff. Right. Yeah. Well, I don't think any of those, even the Gospels, they existed during his time. If he did exist. Right. They're made they like later. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. So like, there's some stuff there's in like, there, like in the uh, letters. Um, you have to be a good child to your parents and do everything that they say. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, uh, also in the letters. So basically the letters, the Acts of the Apostles, kind of outline why Catholicism does the things it does. You ever hear of like, um, um, confirm, not confirmation, um, uh, what do you call that? Confession. Yeah. Like we have to go to confession like once a year. That's because in the in the letters to Paul or letters to John, he he outlines how like you can undo your sins if you're honest with God, so that's why you have to tell the priest all of your bad behavior. I think that's only in is that only in the Catholic Church? I guess because it's, it's only I think, in a, I think so. And then there's also uh, why they don't take uh, wives. It's in there because they marry themselves to God. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's, okay, that's actually in there. Yeah, 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 like yeah, yeah. They they like marry themselves to God. Mm-hmm. Oh, also plot twist. Um, God has a name. Oh, what's his uh, name? Elijah. So on the cross, Jesus is calling out for Elijah. Mm. And they just translated that to like, they said that like, oh, that just means God. But it's like, mm, sounds like a name to me. <laughs> just like how um, Moses' is God is Yahweh. But I don't remember that. I got to recheck that because it was like a while back. But I, I don't think that Moses' is God had a name. Uh, no. I don't think he gave himself a name. Okay. But they talk about other gods in there. Oh, uh, Alexander the Great makes an appearance in the Bible. Cleopatra makes the appearance in the Bible. Uh, Zeus is Was mentioned. it Alexander the Great? Yeah, it's, a, it's Alexander the Great. Oh, uh, there's two. No, no, there's two. There's Alexander, um, oh, I forgot his last name. There's Alexander the King, which is Alexander the Great, and then Alexander something who gets killed. I had to Google that because I was like, is this the same Alexander? And they said, like, yeah. When they say King Alexander, that's Alexander the Great. But then when they say um, Alexander, it's just the other Alexander who gets killed. And other Alexander? Yeah, it's just Alexander's a common name. I guess at that time. Yeah. Um, oh, another speaking of common names, Andrew is one of the 12 disciples. I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. There's also two Judases. Two du- Judas? Okay. Yeah, which makes no sense because there's two Simons. And then I guess Jesus was like, man... I'm getting confused. I'm going to call you Peter and you're Simon. Okay. And then, so like, it's like, well, there's two Judases. Wouldn't you call them two different names too? <laughs> Jesus probably got lazy. He's like, nah, bro. We already went through this. It's, it's however, confusion of the story. However, he called Thomas, Doubting Tom, twin. Oh. So it's like their gangster names, you know? Like, right, yeah, like, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Smiley. <laughs> you know? Oh, that's funny. Yeah, um... Yeah, that's pretty much it. It's a good book. Oh. <laughs> it is the good book. You know it's the most uh, sold book of all time? Oh, well, yeah. Is, who were the most? To... For sure, yeah. But you know what's funny? Um, <laughs> you know what's like, funny? The statistic should be this. It's the most sold book of all time, but the most unread book of all time. <laughs> yeah, too. That is true, too. Because, you know, each, each hotel they make, there's also another Bible in there. Yeah, yeah that's each, true. You yeah. know what I mean? It's not really... No one's reading that. It, it's sort of like if you look at your kill death ratio in uh, Halo, it's like it's got a negative kill death ratio. It's like right. how many people bought it compared to how many people read it. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's like, which is kind of funny because they kind of like they kind of do it like that. Like in Catholic school, it's like um, you just need to buy the Bible so that it's with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I even you. have an old like small Bible. Oh really? Yeah. So the essence is with you, but you don't need to read it. No. Nah. But it's like, bro. I'm already saved. Yeah, we we don't need to read it. We don't need to read that. Allegedly. (laughs) Nowhere did, um, if you actually look at the history too, it was all in 
Latin and only certain yeah. people could read it. Yeah. But then uh, I think his name was uh, Luther, Martin Luther, the okay. Lutheran Bible. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He translated it all, and he's like, oh, the people have a right to read it themselves. Because like the the priests were like using it as a form of power back in the day. Oh. So then he translated it um, into German because that was his native tongue, and then people start reading it, and they're like, oh, we don't actually need you anymore. And that like <laughs> killed the church. And then they, I think they got pissed at him, trying oh. to kill him. Oh, oh, jeez. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. Horrible. But it's like, how many people do you see claim to be like the returning of Jesus, right? And we don't believe them. Yeah. But then how much do they believe it? Just like Jesus believed it in the Bible, because yeah, all yeah. the Jews were saying that he's he's actually um, a demon infested person. Oh then, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, so it's like how many people were like, "Oh, you just you just have schizophrenia. And you're not really." Mm. And then like a thousand years from now, it's like, we're like actually, he was the one. That's why. That's why I, I gravitate more towards the Taoism now. It's more like just look at the lessons of life, yeah, and just appreciate life of because course. you don't really need anyone to save you. <laughs> you save yourself, but yeah. that's what Jesus said too. Yeah, save yourself. So I think that's what he meant. Hmm. Well, that's the Matthew version, the good, the the yogi chill version. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> oh, and uh, wait, final thing. Um, it, the old, actually, no, both of them, both both versions of God in the old and new, they, they both wanted everyone to follow them. Like, they were, like, despite, they were, like, they're saying how, like, even though other gods exist, they're not real compared to me. Because I am salvation. Yeah, of course I'll say that. I mean, yeah, so it's like, but then if, again, if you look at the economics of it, like if the Romans did put this together, the easiest way to conquer the world is through religious belief, mm-hmm. belief systems, right? Because like, you can't if you if you rule through fear, right? Oh, if you don't believe me, God will come and burn you for eternity. Yeah, AKA Revelations, uh, i.e. Revelations, is where it's in. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's a crazy book. People yeah. should read that, though. They should. They should. Make your own decisions. For sure, for sure. But again, kill death ratio is pretty bad. So. Mm. Okay, so the final topic. Oh, jeez. Okay. Whew, that was a long one. Uh, it actually ties into this. It's my philosophical question of the week Will enlightenment be brought about through the internet? Uh,. Now, what's the definition of enlightenment? Right, will, will understanding be brought about through the internet? Will will a better understanding of the world be brought about through the internet? I think it will, but there's also pockets that it won't, I think. Actually, this is... Oh, wow. You know what? You just gave me a counterpoint. So I was going to say that um, if you actually look at it, yes, uh, the internet will bring enlightenment because it allows us to access, right? Like I can order more books on Amazon. I can listen to podcasts. Mm-hmm. I can like, you guys can listen to us talk. We can share ideas. We can, you know, tweet each other or whatever um, and all that. But then what you're speaking of is also true because we fall into these, um, what do you call these? Voxels? Uh, what do you call them? No, they're like they little, little rabbit micro holes. sounding board. Rabbit, rabbit holes, yeah. Sounding boards of like, you can you can fall into like a a thing where everyone is saying the same stuff. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like you you have no free thought. Like I like what you do, but I have no time to do what you do. <laughs> like you you listen to both sides. Like you'll listen to like people who are ultra extremists and then yeah. ultra liberal. Right. Right. But I I don't I don't have time to do that. Like I only listen to like people who re- relate to me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So like I guess the real truth of that the real answer to that is that. The internet will bring enlightenment, but it'll also bring ignorance. Yeah. Depends on how you use it. It's like a tool. Of course, yeah. Right? Because a lot of people, they can just stay in their, like, niche circles. Yeah, in their bubbles, and, like, yeah. In their bubbles, yeah. Like, if you're, like, a, like a freaking... A vegan? If you're, like, a vegan... Yeah, that's a great example. Vegan vegan bubbles. Uh, you'll just find communities online, and then just, like, oh, I hate everyone that's not, right? Yeah. And then... but then the people that are open to that they'll just find communities that are open so it's sort of like we're finding like different mm, groups collective collective niches yeah you know that we want to gravitate towards so it's like 
it's is this the age of enlightenment yes but it's also the age of ignorance yeah because because the way i see it it's like not everyone's willing to like even all right so like look at it our way so we're like okay we're looking at this this piece of text as like a piece of text like you can derive lessons from it right okay yeah but then people who believe it to be like the way and the truth they're they won't listen to us just like we won't listen to them no right i will I'll never agree with them because that's my perspective of the world yeah so it's like you'll never reach a universal state of enlightenment because nobody can know the same things yeah because how can the world be enlightened if i can't even understand discrete mathematics you know what i mean it's like other people will know stuff that I will never comprehend knowing. Yeah. No matter how hard I try. Right. Right? Like quantum physics. Mm -hmm. I will never understand that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? <laughs> but like other people, like scientists do. So it's like Uh huh. You know, it's like how that's... can how can you say that we'll all be enlightened? Because that's true. nobody is on the same page. But see see like it's funny because like true true truth is negative. But people, so like I for like one of the young Yoda quotes I wrote like, um, um, nobody's equal or something like that, and like stop wishing yourself to be. Mm -hmm. Nobody's made equal. Yeah. Stop wishing yourself to be. And it's like at first glance you're like that's super negative, but it's like no, it's actually positive because it's about how you should look at yourself as a special being, right? And don't try and be like everyone else. Yeah, it's basically what I'm saying. Yeah, but yet we want world peace and like everyone to be on the same page. It's like that's impossible. I think I truly think that the people that um, this is so opinionated, but I truly believe that the people that advocate world peace and all that just haven't spent enough time in the in other circles. They haven't seen the rest of the world. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, right? Yeah. Exactly. It's like you need to hang out with people that do not think like you. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I, I guess I guess from that point of view, it's like you watch uh, these things. I like to surround myself in circles of people that I do not think like. Because I get to like experience. It's like, oh, that's really interesting. Like I've never, never, um, yeah. Like I've never been in that situation. But then, like the way they believe their certain thing, which is also why I like knowledge. Because like if you understand something, knowledge. Yeah. Sorry. Gnosticism. Yeah. Um, no, I just the word knowledge has been now stuck to that guy that does that YouTube. I don't know. Those commercials. Remember? No. The guy with those fancy cars. Oh, oh, it's Ty Cruz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Knowledge. Oh, yeah. Sure, 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 yeah. <laughs> That's what I was here's, saying. Here's That's why what... I read a book a day. <laughs> yeah, right. Knowledge. If you guys want money? I'll tell you guys how to get money. <laughs> Subscribe to my channel so I can get money. Knowledge. Anyways, yeah. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> I think... Uh, I was saying, oh, yeah. So knowledge is a great tool because, yeah. like, knowledge is power. So mm -hmm. you can adapt according to somebody's belief because if you understand how a bunch of belief systems work it's like okay well i need to pretend like i know this now yeah i need to pretend like i know this now mm -hmm. you know it makes you very adaptable right yeah and i guess you could say like not appreciative but like understanding it's like oh you you're doing this because of this right yeah yeah, yeah. You know? so it's like i got asked this question like oh now that you've read it and like well are you gonna convert people I'm like no man like people need this thing some people are not in the at the mindset they need to be to like fully understand the other side but, of it yeah or, or you could even say that we're at a mindset where we don't like it's like yeah yeah yeah, yeah. you know it's like the negative version of that it's like like we're saying like oh like you should you should understand that this for what it is but they're saying like no you don't have enough faith mm. both are true both are true i just don't place faith outside of myself that's all mm, right yeah. That sounds so negative. Why? I know. Oh, uh, speaking of which, indoctrination is, uh, I think, is where we'll end off the sure. thing. Um, I, I was trying to polish it off last night, like read the full thing, and it was like one thirty in the morning. It's just a funny story. <laughs> and um, and oh, yeah. you and you and Tara were both asleep, and I was like out here reading, and um, <laughs> and I got so scared because I knew I was hitting the end, and then I just heard like. He was like going to go to hell was, after this. Yeah, yeah, my mind was creating, like, demonic things. And, like, I envisioned, like, the devil is beside me. And then it's like, no, but that's just, like, that's just years and years of, like, yeah. hammering into yeah, my yeah, subconscious yeah, yeah, yeah. that there is this thing called the devil. Yeah. And, like, But it's like, that's only in one, now that I've read it, it's like, that's only in one gospel. 
not, not even a, sorry, it's not even a gospel. That's only in one segment, which is Thomas's mm. revelations, yeah, yeah. right? And it's like, if I just don't believe in Thomas's revelation, it's like, well, then that won't hurt me. But because of Hollywood, because of what teachers have told you as you're growing up, and like you're at a very sensitive age, you get very like ingrained into thought patterns, you know? Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, if you... Yeah, there's a lot of people that, that same thing, yeah, they find the difficulty to leave a religion because they take a long time because of this fear. To, to that, unprogram... Yeah, you have to. Yeah, your your pattern responses. Yes, you know. So like, why is it? Why is it that as I'm under, as I'm coming to the end of the Bible, I'm imagining like the devil coming to get me. <laughs> it's like you know, you know too much now. Gotta kill you. Yeah, you know. But it's like, but then if I'm not afraid of death, it, this is this is how I was able to sleep because <laughs> I was like so scared even going to sleep. I was like, oh god, oh my god, you're gonna come. And I was like, you know what? Like, what well, what if I do die? Who cares? Mm. It's fine. Death happens to us all. And then that's how you overcome death and you live eternal. Yeah. By coming to realize, I <laughs> see how I did that. Well, little spin there. <laughs> you want eternal salvation? Realize that death is just a process and that you will live on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. Damn. So we got next. We got uh, next week. We're gonna check out Banksy. Yeah, we'll talk about that. Yeah, we'll talk about that in our weekly roundup. We're gonna hit it up on Saturday. And uh, E three starts today with the uh, EA's conference. Yep. Yeah, I'm excited for Sony's and Microsoft's. So that's tomorrow. Microsoft. Sony's uh, is on Monday. We're gonna try and play some GTA. Hopefully, if there's time, stay tuned for yeah. our GTA yeah. sessions. Oh yeah. And um, yeah, wax philosophical and pursue understanding. Knowledge. I was yeah. P- pursue knowledge. <laughs> and seek out experiences and then that will give you truth but it'll only be your truth because it's your wisdom of your knowledge and experience sure knowledge plus experience equals wisdom cool which wait hold on quick, quick pause so we know that knowledge plus experience equals wisdom right so like when when jesus was like in the synagogue and he was like saying all these things they're like how could this oh this is pretty interesting so they're like how could this um how could this person have so much wisdom? And I was like, yeah, he's probably just read a lot and he's like experienced a lot, mm. right? Knowledge was experience. And then, uh, then they said this really interesting thing. They're like, no, Jesus said, he's like, oh, I cannot preach in my hometown. Cause like everyone started saying like, isn't this just the boy of Joseph? Oh. Right? They, they saw him for just being human. And that's when Jesus like, oh, I can't, I can't preach here. <laughs> Cause like you guys just see me as being human oh, I'm more I than human. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like, isn't that how That's it a always is? Man. It is a little delusional. Yeah. I didn't say it, you said it. Sure. I'm not gonna be burned. No, I don't believe in that anyway, so it's true, you're Hindu. So and that was again, I brought this up many times, but you were the impetus for me <laughs> realizing that there are some things out there that are different. Oh, okay. <laughs> and okay. it took me how old am I twenty nine, twenty nine years of living to finally read the Bible and be like, Oh, that's what it's all about? Mm. Interesting. What's next? Uh, I, <laughs> I will I will read the Quran and I will read the Vedas next. Oh, okay. I thought you read the Vedas. No, I read uh, uh, Bhagavad Gita, which is a part of the Vedas, and I read the Upanishads. Okay. I don't know if that's a part of the Vedas. I have no idea either. Yeah. Since I'm not really a follower. The so. Vedas is based off of four primary texts. So, like, the reason why I'm reading the Vedas is because, like, another big thing is, like, yogis, right? All these yogis are like that's why it's like I funny because I'm like yeah well I've read the big Gita have you guys read it you know <laughs> now it's like yeah I've read the full Bible have you guys read it you know because like how can you how can you base your opinion off of like how can you how can you preach so heavily mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah on a certain topic if you haven't done the research to figure out the topic right you know true you know it'd been crazy at the end of this if I was like you know what he was right. I need to follow this. But I think it's because I already overcame my fear of death that I was like, oh, you're just selling me selling me goods I can't even take with me to the next life. It's, uh, yeah, yeah. It's like, how will I Snake know that I'll have, yeah, exactly. how will I know I'll have eternal salvation? You won't know. You don't have a brain or a cerebral, <laughs> you don't have a, what do you call that, spinal, 
central nervous system uh-huh. Uh-huh. to oh, tell, okay. yeah. right? So it's like, how can you burn in hell if you don't have a central nervous system? But they didn't have science back then. <laughs> so it's like, you, you're, you're selling me goods that you don't even know yeah. are real. Because they thought that consciousness, your, your awareness, your active awareness was uh, created solely outside of the body. Right. But now we know that you can't interpret anything without a central nervous system. Mm-hmm. So how, if my body's destroyed, how will I know I'm even living? All right. Just saying. <laughs> Just saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Science. That's true. That's probably why they're like, that's why they, they went through the dark ages. Like science was on the rise and then they started to kill off all the scientists because they're like, science is the devil. Why is science the devil? Because it doesn't allow us to exercise our control mechanism. Wow, that's so negative. We do it all the time. Scientology is a new one. That's true. There's there's so many cults. Even like maybe you should read the Mormon book too. Yeah, I'm gonna read the Scientology book as well. Because I think that one has Jesus was born in the U.S. or something. Oh God! All right. There's only so or much the, I can fill the, the my new Jesus or whatever. I there's think. only so much I can fill my time with. In like 1968. I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't know what the year was. Just I ho- hopefully this is the longest out of all the reads. Like, I'm hoping the next ones that I read aren't as long as this one. Because this one took me so... It took me five months. God damn. Yeah, I know, right? It's like, discipline, though. It was just, like, I had to keep leaving and coming back because I, like, lost my interest. I was like, oh, yep. I'm not going to do this. I was like, yeah, I'm going to do it. No, I'm going to do it. No, yeah, yeah, yeah you know. Mm. It was, like, a 1,200 pages or something like that. Oh, and small text. And sm- so... It's not really that much. It's, it's, like, it's, it's more... It's <laughs> ultra small text, and it's written in two columns yeah, within yeah. one page. So it's, like... It's like really condensed. Yeah. It's crazy. That is pretty crazy. Yeah. How many people do it? It's like running a marathon. Get out there and do it. All right, till next time. I mean, yo, yeah. All right, yeah. Just just a quick thing. Yeah. The priests have read this book. Yo, know, uh, that was my other thing. That was my other thing. I want to talk to you because I know my cousin, he did seminary school in the Philippines and then he dropped out because he's like halfway through, he was like, he was doing it. He was like, all right, so the story goes that he was super devout as a child. He was so good, yeah. went to seminary school, dropped out because he realized, oh, it's all a sham, and then became like the black sheep of the family. Oh. Yeah, so that's his life. Damn. So I want to talk to him uh, and be like, did they make you read the Bible mm-hmm. in seminary school? You know what I was thinking too? Catholic teachers who haven't read the Bible shouldn't be teaching in Catholic school. I don't even think there should be... Catholic school? Religious schools. Yeah, but we're a Roman occupied. No, but there's other religious culture. Schools, I'm just saying in general. No, but like. Or you can Catholic have it. Catholic a major one. Uh, yeah, yeah. Or you can have it, but they can be private. No, there's private schools. No, I know. But, but Catholic school is not private. Yeah. It's no. still funded by public money. That's what I mean. Oh, really? Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh, I see you're saying like where they get their money. Like you can do those schools. Just, but again, uh, again, see like see like this stuff just goes back to historical um, arguments. This is why you gotta learn about history, people. Yeah. Because you're like, why is the world like it is? And then if you read history, you'll realize it all came about like as like a domino effect. That's why determinism, right? It's like, oh, do you believe in free will? No, because one thing led to the next thing, led mm-hmm. to the next thing, led to the next thing. Yeah. It's just like just like history. It's like why are we here where we are now? Well, because a thousand years ago. A million years ago. Yeah. Actually. All these people all these things, did yeah. all these things. So it's like you just gotta read your history yeah. and know where you are. True. Um, final thought. That's why Graham Hancock says, uh, if you control the past, you control the present, you control the future. Because if you control where we, we've been, you say like, oh, we know the truth, then the people in the present will be like, oh, you guys, you guys have authority, and then we can direct the future. So it's like conspiratorial, he believes. I don't think it's a conspiracy. I think it's more like circumstance, like it just happened this way. Yeah. Like. It, I don't think it's like a grand cabal of people who are like trying to rule the world. Maybe, maybe it is, but like I, don't I, think I it highly is. doubt that because yeah. you'd have like insane collusions. Like people would have to agree. Yeah, and people generally don't agree. Yeah, right. True. Yeah. Do you think there could be like a like a group of like let's say the group of seven who who like masterly control the whole world? They fluctuate stock markets, like release building I don't attacks. think so. I don't, it makes no sense. That's no. very difficult to do. If there is, amazing. Don't kill me. Give me money. But 
But even if there is, I mean, we've had more freedoms today than we had, in a sense. Like, for yesteryear, yeah, for sure. No, yeah, of course. I think that's in large part due to, like, free thought and, like... Yeah, I know, that's what I mean. Internet. Yeah. Yeah, we have... have I don't, I think that, yeah, I don't, like, why would we be talking about them? If they existed, they would try to, like... Quite everything as whatever's out there, right? Exactly. Yeah. Internet would be one of the worst things for them. Like it, it would be yeah, exactly. It would be like uh, if there really was like a grand group of like seven, you know, control the earth. Mm. We'd live the entire world would be kind of like North Korea. Yeah. We'd rule under one thing. And yeah. We believe one thing. Right. Yeah. Which that would be North Korea. Yeah. <laughs> but you know what's funny? Because like people like they look at this and they're like, oh, it's so disgusting. Like how could not our conversation? Like it's so disgusting how the world's come and like the one percenter. I think it's brilliant. If you actually like took some time to realize, like the majesty, the effort that went into putting everything together. Yeah. It's like insane. That's the beauty of it. Yeah. I think that's what Jesus was talking about too. See, I've converted. Uh, <laughs> see, I think that's what Jesus is con- uh, like. Um, talking about too where he's like you have to see life as like a beautiful gift he didn't say that in paraphrasing he yeah. didn't actually say that right um but like are you saying stuff like you know the kingdom of god is right in front of your eyes you just need to be able to see it that's you need the, the eyes to see it yeah right right so that's like the the so that's old like school translation traditional my colloquial yeah, version yeah, yeah. is like see that's that's like gift. yeah because if you learn from the those 13 years hmm. if you learn from those monks or whatever We'll save that one for next week's combo. Cause oh, right. You want to do that. I, I also read... Um, well, 13, we'll mention that tomorrow, next week. Yeah. Probably. I also read uh, 13 Lost Years of Jesus before reading the Bible. So that was an interesting one. Mm. We'll, we'll get into that next okay. week. Okay, cool. But yeah, it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty awesome where we are today. Like the effort that went into all this. So if there is, if there is a cabal, amazing. If there's not, makes sense. Okay. Yeah. Because imagine the work that would go into ruling everyone. Yeah. Could never do it. No. I really don't believe it. Like, conspiracy people, like, like to believe in group, out group. This yeah, there's, there's, some, there's something to, to why we think that, too. Yeah. Right? It, this is why I like right. Joe Rogan, because he, he always says it. He's like, it's just sexy to believe that there's, like, right, yeah, a crazy conspiracy against you. And right, you're right, the right, only right. one that's come up with this revelation. Right, right. It's, it's like an answer to, like, we don't, I don't have any control yeah and this is the way they're just taking away the my fact, control exa- they're yeah. the ones you're that we have a common enemy because like if you set your yeah. goal see the the scariest thing in life is to realize that there's nothing set in stone in life and you make your own decisions nobody nobody can deal with that because mm-hmm. it's like what do you mean i have total freedom wait i can read i can do whatever i want i can kill myself if i want but nobody nobody can, wants to come to terms with that right because it's scary it's yeah. like, so then what do you do with your life your life's meaningless you hit Nietzsche's nihilism, right? But um, yeah, I wonder if I, I wonder if <laughs> my my cousin always makes jokes. He's like, "Oh, you sound like a prophet now," <laughs> but it's like, yeah, because I've just read a bunch of stuff. And I'm just presenting it in a way. Right. But see, the only thing is like false idols. Like I'm not trying to create it's like the, a yeah. horde of people that to give me money. And, like, <laughs> it'd be so awesome if you donate to our Patreon, though. Oh yeah, that'd be great. That would be great, but you know. No nefarious means here. <laughs> All right, we'll end it there. Rambling. Yeah. Check out our GTA Five sessions. Yes. Cool. Coming soon. Take it easy. Peace. Bye. Knowledge. No. 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 no.